Well, uh, as you know, I love to play matchmaker, and my success rate has been pretty good. I've done some pretty good things. Uh, had uh, more than several marriages come out of some of these shows I've done over the years. Pretty good. Well, today's Bachelorette says when it comes to dating, she's sick and tired of getting asked the same question. Take a look. Hey guys, Delilah here from the beautiful city of Philadelphia. This Latina boss is just a tad bit tired of answering the same question over and over again. Delilah, why are you still single? Delilah, what is wrong with you? I work really hard into building my legacy because I understand my purpose in life and what I want to leave behind long after I'm gone. I need to surround myself with the right type of people to keep me head on and head strong and that also includes my partner. Who can keep up with my hustle? Who can match my work ethic? Who can help Help me, inspire me to want to be the best versions of myself the same way I'll inspire them to want to be the best versions of himself. You think you got this deal, Steve? I think you got this. Like, if we work together, I know we can make magic happen. So, let's get it. <laughs> well, <laughs> you was talking on your tape, that's for sure. <laughs> you didn't die, you didn't breathe. <laughs> So I wanted to give her a chance to meet a great guy in a segment that I call Steve's Dating Pool. <laughs> Please welcome Delilah. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, so Delilah, uh, why do you believe that you have yet to connect with someone? Look, Theo, I'm gonna call you Theo, cause you know, you're Theo. like my uncle, we family, yeah. like we're already start setting off this vibe, right? Yeah, okay? yeah, right, right. <laughs> Look, my, you all three right here, beautiful gentlemen, beautiful. But that is what's gonna take me, like I'm gonna get to the table by your looks, but how you're trying to add value to the world is what's gonna make me say. So, you know, it takes a certain type of mindset to impress me. It's gonna take more than a, hey, big head, what you doing, that's gonna <laughs> impress me. So unfortunately, I haven't been able to come across anyone whose hustle or work ethic can match mine. So that's okay. why I'm kinda single. <laughs> all right, well. We'll see how it works, uh, but this is how we do it here. I got three eligible uh, bachelors here. Uh, you're gonna ask them questions. Okay. Uh, after they answer, I'm gonna help you, and at the end, we're gonna send you on a date with the bachelor of your choice. Uh, but there's a twist. Uh, we got more bachelors backstage that we can swap out for. Hey. So, <laughs> if something don't work out the first break, we talk it over and we swap out. Mm -hmm. But let's meet the guys on stage. Gentlemen, tell us a little bit about yourself. How's it going, everybody? My name is Kenny. I'm also from Philadelphia. Hey, Philly John, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. There you go, John, John, all that. And uh, I'm a photographer. How you doing? My name is Joseph Barr. I'm from New York. Okay. Um, I'm just happy to be here. Yes. Uh, my name is Lou, from Philly as well, so definitely in the building. Philly in the house. Graphic designer, art director. Awesome. Okay. Now, these are questions that I put together for women. Okay. Because over the years, women have come on the show and they ask questions that don't get them anywhere. You can pick any of these questions you like. These are questions that all women can ask on the first date. Okay. Man should not be bothered by these questions, but they're very, <laughs> yeah. they, they, they provide you with very telling answers. Okay. So anyone you choose, you can ask any guy any question. Take it away. What do you believe is your worst quality? Yeah, starting with Lou, I'm sorry. All right, um, my worst quality, I would say I spread myself too thin. Okay. Um, I try to do a lot of things. I'm active in a lot of different, doing jobs, free, freelance, and I have a lot of ambition. So I, try to sp I spread myself too thin. I think I don't put a lot um, focusing on myself. So I would say, yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Okay. Joe? Yeah. I'd say my worst quality is I eat like an animal. <laughs> <laughs> that is a beautiful thing. I love, I, I love to eat, and sometimes I get too consumed in it that I forget how I'm eating. And I'm like, oh, I got to take a step back and be a little too messy. All right, what about you, Kenny? I'm an overthinker. Mm. It's like simple. I think I, I was told it's a Capricorn thing. Okay. I don't know we think a lot, maybe. Yeah, I'm a Capricorn. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. You think a lot? Yeah, I th I'm, a, I'm pretty deep thinker. Yeah, so I think that's, that's my biggest flaw. Sure. Okay, yeah. okay, good answer. Okay, so if you had to choose a model to live by, what would it be? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with the bad boy motto, can't stop, won't stop. Yes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of ambition, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of strong work, so. Keep pushing Never forward. Never give up. Keep pushing forward. Yeah, exactly. I like to live by the golden rule. Mm -hmm. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Yes, yeah. amen. 
That's one thing I've learned out here is to take everything day by day. Yes. So I'd say that's my motto. You know, don't look too deep into the future. Just, you know, keep it simple. Yes. Uh, so what is the biggest lesson you learned from a parent? I learned a lot of things from my father, just how to treat women, how to treat uh, people around you, uh, how to have a strong work ethic, uh, timing, just being uh, punctual, things like that. Just everyday things I feel like everyone should be on, typical, so. Yeah. yeah. Good. Yeah. Good. The biggest <laughs> lesson I learned from both my parents was to always have a great personality and to always be positive. Yes. All right. Good. What about you, Kenny? I'd say uh, everything's achievable. You know, if you put the right uh, effort towards something, you know, you'll get it. That's what my mom told me. I was raised by my mm -hmm. mom, so. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I got to tell you, we got three guys that's really answering these questions. <laughs> so after the break, we're going to ask some more questions. I don't know. We may swap out. I don't know. I think we got three good ones out here, but stay <laughs> tuned, and we'll find out who gets picked after this. <laughs> Hey, listen, it's your man, Steve Harvey. You know, uh, we could go on like this forever. I mean, literally, just press that subscribe button or click on this list and keep on watching. Man, it's me. Come on, join right now. Do it. What you waiting on?